big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend fave? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Yeah, my dad all gone. Man, what's going on? None. You look like you powered up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. Say, man. Hey, we got we got a guy in here now that. I've been, hey man, when I first heard this guy music, man, it moved my soul, boy, when it come down to uh, just setting the mode, the dance, the, the dance vibe, everything that pretty much back in the days, it rolled something towards something, man. The guy was, uh, yeah, from a small town, man. Check it, man. My boy Bone is in here, man. What's going on? Yeah. Say, okay, now my DJ told me that you had a store in Queen City. Where was your store? <laughs> my store in Queen City was right by Cass County Bank. Okay. Stop playing, man. I was born in Atlanta. <laughs> Why was you born in Brooks Hospital? Yes, sir. James Brooks. Don't play. <laughs> Why was you born yeah. in Brooks Hospital? Because you just knew I'm what a older. hospital. Is that yeah, the only hospital? It's the only hospital. <laughs> hospital. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you say you from if you was born in Atlanta, you was either born in Atlanta, at, you know. Um, I couldn't Memorial. go to the Rich. I couldn't go to yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't yeah. go over there. Yeah. Memorial or. Yeah, in Brooks. Yeah, I'm from I'm from East Texas. All the black people, you know, was born Brooks. in Brooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to live in Shiloh. Stop playing, oh. man. You, you, you. Hey, you, I'm rocking with you. Oh man, yeah. You, you, you a legend, real. nigga. I oh, told you, for, you, you was you, a, yeah, a you legend. For real, for real. Oh yeah. I, I, listen, man. I got to do a trail ride right on July 10th in San Antonio, and so. I, Tell me why the first time I get to fly, I hit up all my my homies and my cousins from high school, and I send them like I got I got performed this trail ride. Y'all talking about it? Like everybody owns horses. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know, big, you know. Uh, the the ATVs and stuff they go mud and stuff. Yeah, of like course that. that's a new thing that they doing down there. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And you don't do it. I don't I'm, do it. I am not country like that at all. <laughs> no, no you from the country. Yeah, I'm just from there. I, I so hate, I don't hate horses, but I hate horses. Really? Man, it was just it was a delight when 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 them youngsters cash and them TJ and them was like, yeah, we can get you all them. I was like, get him. That's mm -hmm. the one I've been looking for. Plus, you know, I've been showing these Texas a lot of love, and you like the king of that thing. To be honest with you, man, you know, and they don't believe that. Listen, you know, man, I like, hey, I believe it. Like, I, and for me, it's like I'm literally the only one. You know what I mean? You ain't so got to I'd tell like, me. I, I just kind of just. I, I I respect it, and at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a dude that really really. Uh, I look at numbers, man. So, did you go platinum or go? It's really like a a, a, a gold, but it's not. Okay. Like, but you know, TikTok is booming right now. So. No, 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 no. I get the new wave, yeah, but but so. but back then it was all about the numbers, right? Yeah. So so, are you liking the way things are going now? I mean, you know, honestly, I've been busier since you know since the the, the TikTok and everything. I've been busier the past couple months. You know what I mean? Like people calling and booking shows. So the so. TikTok did it? Did it do something to inspire I mean, you back? A little bit, you know, and not not too much, but you know enough to where you know people will be like, yeah, let me book ball. So you know, hey, and that's good enough for me. Man, you know? I'm just I'm glad to see you. Like I say, still working. A lot of them boys they they ain't got that spirit like that, man. I mean, yeah, but and I the song like, still the song still and going. That's a blessing. That's the biggest blessing. Like I had, and it'd be crazy. Like this. Uh, 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 I'll call her a fan. I don't know if she's a fan or not, but she hit me up on my DM from uh, and she was from New Orleans and she talking to me like I just made the song yesterday. She was oh, like, man. "Did you pay Shorty for that sample?" And I'm like, "Hey, like eleven year old song. That, what are you talking that was, about?" That, like, that, was, like, 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 that was definitely one of my questions. Mm -hmm. Like, did you get like, it clear? Yeah, <laughs> like like you have to. Like, you this, better yeah, get it yeah, clear. Yeah, like yeah. like so so, yeah, but. Uh, and I could uh, I probably I could send it to you and so you could hear it if you want to. But I'm gonna put it out on my uh, on my next project coming out. But I actually have the very last verse of Magnolia Short actually rapping. Really? She actually rapped. Uh, really? Oh, girl. She was supposed to be on the remix, but you know, the powers, passed, yeah. no, powers that be. She was she, The verse was in. I don't know. I tried to get it on there. You know? Really? You got to talk to people that's bigger than higher than me. You know? So so how did it start for Bone? What, what, how, did you, how did you start off, man? As Rapping, far as what? As far like, back like, as how did you go, yeah, I want to know oh, man, I how Bone I, come from Atlanta, Texas, and how did this guy get to, I know you went to Prairie View, but how do you, I mean, how do you articulate everything to get this song out and all that? We want the story. Uh, I, For me, it was just, um, you know, my mom went to Jarvis, of okay. course. So shout out Jarvis. My yeah. sister in law mm -hmm. went there. Yeah. So I mean, and you know, that was in the eighties, eighty seven, yeah. eighty eight. Yeah. So she, you know, that's why she probably went to school with, with <laughs> yeah, yeah, Theo. Yeah. yeah. So you know, hip hop during that year, and she was a big LL Cool J fan. Yeah. So, so was she. Excuse me. So 
of course, for me, it was just LL Cool J, Mama Say Knock You Out, and then I Need Love and just trying to rap this stuff on the uh, on the Fisher Price karaoke machine. Hey, Bob, I was spoiled. I had a Fisher Price karaoke machine. Yeah, 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 you was up. <laughs> and then uh, from that point, you just, you know, develop this passion for it. It's something that you don't even really know what it is. You just yeah. kind of just, I want to, I think I want to. How old were you at that time when you developed that passion for it? Seven. Wow. I started, I, well, I was trying to, I was pretending to kind of trying to rap when I was like three or four, but I was like, I'm going to be a rapper when I was seven. Like, you know how little kids be like, I'm going to be a football player. So at the end of the day, let's keep going with the story. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, just um, as far as that goes, just going from being a seven-year-old, just wanting to rap, and I don't know, just... And then I was... Uh, seven years old, wanting to rap. Ain't nobody in East Texas rap. I'm not like that. It's, well, but he it didn't was this, know he was going to be like that at seven years old. No, I know that, but I'm just okay. saying for us to keep him going and keep him yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely like a... a, a, a like dreaming you know what exactly I mean? just, just like, big dreaming yeah, just big like, dream. just like imagination out of this world it was this guy uh ernie uh ernie ski he was he played you know what i'm saying he played piano and he had a little group they did rapping and stuff like that and uh one of my uh my guy mama's her her uh, nephew he rapped and he was you know really really good you know what i mean so he was one of the people that i kind of just you know would kind of what was his name his name was c you know what i mean c uh, yeah 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 okay yeah, yeah, Charlie Powell. <laughs> okay, but, okay, uh, but uh, you know I me, I'm trying to see one of, if it one of them stickers or ups or something. Yeah, no, no, I'm about to say no, nah, nah, it wasn't one of them. <laughs> you know, it's a bunch of them yeah, yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, and and so, you're really you, from Shiloh? Oh no, no, I know it, I know. It. Yeah, no, I'm not from. I'm from. I graduated in Linden. Oh, okay, but I just oh, okay. lived in Shiloh. Where you graduated in Linden? Oh man, it was eighty nine, ninety. Oh, okay, okay. So you know, uh, my my best friend's uh, uh, dad, Martin, Martin Godwin. Yeah, I know Martin. Yeah yeah, 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 I know yeah, Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, a little I, older, but he yeah, definitely yeah, 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 yeah. I love Martin. Dell. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, that's good, man. He he, he was a good guy when I'm still I a great guy. Yeah, still, I haven't seen still, him in still years. Still phenomenal. They was up by Douglasville, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, they moved back. They moved to they stay out like toward Bloomberg. Now. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's man. still a great guy. Like, I yeah, was, I went down there and uh, cause uh, his son just moved back from yeah. Vegas, and I went down there and seen him. You think he'll see this episode? No, Martin won't. He don't. He ain't on social media. <laughs> no, no, Martin. He ain't even on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Martin did have to show it to him. You know. Yeah, yeah. He outside working on something. Yeah, that boy used to be fast in track. He was. He was good in sports. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. He was. They showed. Well, he would show us the tapes. But yeah. actually, uh, uh, I don't know if you know him, Derek. Well, you probably know him, Derek Simmons, yeah. uh, the quarterback. He mm-hmm. was our our offensive coordinator yeah. in Atlanta. Okay, and he used to State. talk about it. Yeah, so you you like I got tired of hearing them stories. Well, because you know uh, uh, his son was right, and he, so you know. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So was you good in ball? I was all right. Yeah, yeah, I could have been better, but I was more focused on rapping. Rapping, even yeah. even then. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, this boy yeah. here special, man. Yeah, I was putting out mixtapes and stuff like really? that. Really? Yeah, Were you selling yeah. them? Like the first the first project I put out, I was a. Uh, it was me and uh, this blind guy named Young Cass. He still raps. Blind okay. guy. Blind guy. Yeah, his name is Young Cass. He in Atlanta still? Yeah, 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 yeah. He can rap. He can rap. He, uh, he suffers from uh, being in a situation where he, you know what I mean, you have a disability, and so you can't do what's necessary that you need to do being from a small town to get the proper production and the people behind you and all the different yeah. things like that. But, I mean, every time I look up, he posting something, posting some new music and doing something, so, you know, hey, he's yeah. still at it. But um, we had put out some. I think I was like fifteen. We had put out some, and then the next year I put out a mixtape. Like it was just me, and I sold like a hundred and thirty of those like in a week. You know, Damn. you know what I mean. And just, you were just so happy. Yeah, yeah, just, it was happy. Yeah, that's, that's fly. You know what I mean? Just talking cash shit. To me, you know, what I, mean? I sold about two hundred of them. <laughs> So how old were you when you started taking it serious? Was that at that age? I was age? taking it serious then, like 14, 15. I was, 14, 15. I was a rapper in my mind, you know what I mean? Or anybody tell me. You were the only or, rapper. Or, or, you know, back you know what then. I said, back then, you were the only rapper. I know, then. right, but back then, freestyle was the big thing. So, yeah. like, anytime it was some freestyling going on, you know, I had to be the one to come in, jump it off, and, you know. Kick it. All of that type of stuff. So, man, that's crazy to be that young and to be that far away from everything and still have that mindset. Mm. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, then it's just 
dreaming. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, just, yeah. just like anything else. Just like but most kids want. down there playing football, they but, focus I mean, on but that. It's, it's like extremely similar to me in thought process as far as imagining one to be it. Like it's hard to make it to the NFL or the NBA yeah, 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 or, yeah. you know, MLB or anything. So it's just as hard to, you know, create something that or get it and get a deal. You know, just as hard as it is to go to the NFL. Well, you so know, cool. Jason Peters, shout out Jason Peters mm -hmm. down there. I, I, you know, he used to buy, I used to sell clothes like crazy down there. And the Domino all the way back across that stretch. I had a store in Marshall, too. I, oh, okay. I, I, I hustle, man. That's yeah, what I yeah, come, yeah. I come yeah. from hustling, man. Yeah. Really getting it. I ain't, you know, mm -hmm. so. You all up and down 59. Oh, yeah, 59. All the way back up to Sulphur Spring, back through Kilgore and everywhere. Tyler. I've literally touched every inch of Highway 59. Me too. From Texarkana all the way down to the last turn in Padre where you got to pick whether you're going to go, go left or right. Well, it's right before Padre, but you got to pick whether you're going to go left or right. How far down are you talking? I'm talking like Mexico. That's what I'm saying. I've, you went to I, Mexico? I, I've really driven. I mean, I ain't drive it, but I've been on every inch of Highway 59, 59. from Texarkana all the, all way, the way to South That's Padre. That's crazy. So 59 can take you to South Padre, South Padre Island. Island. Oh, wow. South Padre. All what the did way. we we went down we there, but we didn't did, we didn't go fifty nine. Yeah, yeah, we was that was fifty nine. We 59. did go. We took fifty nine, but it turned into something else. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, it's because when you get to the end of fifty nine, you gotta go left or right. Yeah, you gotta like, pick, and then you gotta go left, I, and you yeah. go to Padre. That's what yeah. we done. We we just did so that we last went from year. East Texas to go, didn't we? Yeah, if y'all did, y'all took fifty nine the whole way. Y'all took fifty nine. Trust me, you took fifty nine. Yeah, yeah, we just rolling, man. We just trying to get away. That was during the pandemic when it first started, maybe. It was a hurricane or something going on down there. I said, well, let's go down there because everybody ain't going to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. it's a hurricane said. over in Galveston somewhere that they was talking about going to touch down, touch it, right? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, hey, let's go to Padre. Nobody going to be there. And we got down there. There's still some people down there. I'm like, what? Well, they don't Man, never hey, leave. Not, not there. Yeah, so um, so what, how old were you when you got your first big break? I was 21. And how did you get your first big break? I was 21. Um, I had... It was uh, the Texas Music Summit. The core DJs had did it with the Definition DJs. And so Tony Neal, uh, we was just talking yeah, about. Yeah, Tony Neal. Shout, shout out to Tony Neal. Milwaukee. And, you know, Milwaukee <laughs> in the building. Shout out to my cameraman, Big Rob, who hold it down for me. We yeah, got to yeah, go to yeah. Vegas and everywhere else. Big Rob is in the building. Shout out to Big Rob. But uh, yeah, Tony was there. And he had been hearing the song, of course, all weekend from the, the summit. You know, it was DJs dropping the club. Everybody goes crazy, you know. So I went up to him and you know, I'm, hey, how you doing, Mr. Neal? Uh, have you heard my song? He was like, I ain't heard shit. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you know Tony, that's just how Tony is. You know, a million people coming up to him. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, and then when he found out who I was, he in a, in immediately was like, start you know introducing me to people, introducing me to people, and he introduced me to this guy, uh, City, and City had a situation with uh, L.A. Reid. Okay, so he. Uh, I was sort of guy. I'm. It was Hump Day at PV. Uh, hump Day is Wednesday. It's like a big thing that we have middle of the day. You know, DJ comes and you know just like vibe out. I'm leaving Hump Day or on my way to Hump Day. One or the other cutting my partner's hair. And uh, Quick Mix Rick had called me. Shout out to Quick Mix Rick. And uh, Eric Parler was on the phone. Eric Parler is uh, he was the head of the radio promotions for Dev Jam at the time. So you know, radio Quick Mix. You know, and uh. They was like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I was talking to City, man, and, you know, think we're going to, you know, see if we can't do something, man, really liking the song. And I was like, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of surreal because, you know, you, everybody's telling you you're going to, you know, you meet some, at that point I had ran into so many people with the, you know, you're going to get a deal, you're going to get a deal, you're going to get a deal. You run into so many people, so you kind of just don't believe anything. You just kind of just, uh, and, and again, I'm still at Prairie View, so, you know, whatever. But City called me. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get the plane tickets tonight, and then I'm going to send them to you, and then uh, we're going to set the audition up for Friday. And I'm like, okay, well, if you know you do that, I'll go up. So I wake up the next morning. It's Thursday. And I look at my email, and the plane tickets was there. And I was like, and, you know, my manager at the time was like, yeah, man, you're going to you know this, 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 this. And so I don't even think I went to class that Thursday. Oh, yeah, it's time, <laughs> yeah, it's time, like, it's like, time. Because like I, I was trying to, I was just trying to process everything. I don't even think I went to class, but uh, I definitely uh, flew to Atlanta that night, and then Friday morning we flew to New York, and I auditioned for L.A. Reid. Wow. And that's how it went down. 
So how was that meeting with L.A. Reid? It was surreal. I was out of my body, like my yeah. Louisiana people say. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just yeah. kind of just, you know, like for me personally, because I had talked so much shit to this point from seven years old to everybody that I knew from Atlanta that, you know, I'm going to be a rapper. I'm going to be this. I'm going to get a deal. Yeah, I'm going yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. get a deal. I'm going to get a deal. I'm going to get a deal. Ain't God good? <laughs> I'm going to get a deal. I'm going to get a deal. So, you know, you work all of this time and you finally get here. And I was just like. I'm not leaving here without getting a deal. You know, just not, so. You're a East Texas legend, dog. Yeah, you, for real, for real. Like, that, I'm going to keep saying that. And even more so, my, and with, you know, more so that I'm proud of. You I got, should be. I got L.A. Reed to write me an excuse letter for missing class. Hey. <laughs> yeah. 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 My, so that, my that was odd. Still, my professor still got that at, uh, in his office. Do you, got, do you still uh, have a relationship with L.A. Reed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's just a few texts or something. Every yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, nothing too serious. No, no, but yeah. still, just the fact that yeah, you still yeah, have yeah. a relationship with yeah, him. Yeah, him, uh, Tricky, and uh, everybody. You know, still City. City is the head of Loud Records now. Um, and uh, Tricky Tricky has another situation, Red 20Z3, that he's doing. And, uh, of course, uh, L.A. has Hitco. And, you know what I mean? And Hitco's been doing real good. You know, Yellow Beezy signed to Hitco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they're all still, you know, Making moves, innovating. Yeah. You know. So do you do so And of course Dream and Dream, Dream, know, Dream is still doing his What know. about the producer? Who produced that song? Uh my partner, uh Solar Slim. You know, he goes by Solar Slim, but he's actually from Fort Worth. Are you still Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool yeah. I, I just picked him up. Uh well he's a he, he's actually a golf pro. Okay. So really? You he got a golf scholarship at Prairie View. That's how we met. He that was nigga a, he, fly. He was on. He was I like on, it. Yeah, he was on the golf scholarship at Prairie View. Hey, if you got any kids that want to learn how to golf, we do golf lessons and stuff really? like that. Yeah, we about to open up a a, a, a driving uh, like a kind of like Top Golf, but not Top Golf. Kinda, yeah. it's like a, a Top Golf for trail rides type That's situation where you can just kind of pull up. And uh, we'll have like fifty balls, charge fifty balls, and we had lanes and charge, and we teaching you how to drive and hit the clubs and stuff like I that. I might need to take y'all up on yeah, that because yeah, I don't yeah. mess with it. But that's all one, my partners that's do. That's one sport I hate. I mean, what? I tried it one time and I could not get the ball in the hole. <laughs> and I, I'm one of these yeah, people that just throw it and say, yeah, "Forget yeah, yeah, this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't either. You know, I'm a caddy. You know, I caddy for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but it, I swear, I picked him up the other day. Uh, he had a competition. Uh, the other day, and you know, he he had uh, partnered with another one of our, our well, it's his cousin, but you know, we all the same. But they had partnered up, and you know, he's back doing competitions and everything. But you know, he's training to get on the PGA, the PGA Golf Pro, and do the you know Golf Pro mm -hmm. tournament for PGA. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's doing right that's now. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so he still makes beats for me from time to time. Yeah, but, but, but the nigga, but the nigga produced that song like that, and and y'all still got a relationship. Cause most of the time, yeah. a lot of people, oh, you know, they have for issues. Yeah, yeah, somebody oh, yeah, get yeah, into yeah, yeah. it, man. He was mad at me for a long time. He's still a little bit mad at me, but you know, no, but you, you I'm big, annoying. So yeah, you, know, you made you made it to where the the problem wasn't so big that it over and interrupted the, into the relationship. To where it I mean, it did everything. for a little while. For he wouldn't, he didn't talk to me for a couple of years. But really? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how but, did you mend it? I like these stories. Uh, you called him, say, man, quit tripping. No, um, he was, he was getting ready to put out a project, and he needed my help. So he called. He's like, I hate yeah, to call yeah, this dude. Yeah, you know, I hate you to know call this dude. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I'm gonna go call this dude. But I really hate to call this dude. Because he yeah. know you were well, it was, it, well, he was. This, he was talking, to, well, he was dealing with this guy that was managing him, and, you know, like, you know how that be. So, you know, you want to get a second opinion on different things from somebody you actually know is, like, that has the knowledge. So it was one of those type of situations. I get it. You know, you, you, you're a special guy, but, I I mean, you, you wanted the coldest dude to come through Atlanta High School, but it's only one that was colder than you. And it was, uh, well, you're not a dude, Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, oh, yeah. I say Ellen. Yeah, yeah, Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, she know, I, I, I seen that long time. I was like, Ellen, I mean, she went through Atlanta High School? Yeah, Ellen, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, you can see her, her pictures, right? You didn't know that. Yeah, I yeah. always heard you say. Yeah, her pictures. She was she was doing her a thing. Scan picture. Shout yeah. out to Ellen, man. Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres definitely came through there. And amazing, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. you, but you next. And, I, and she probably never been back to even. Hey, watch out! You don't know nothing well, to that she, city. No, no, no. Um, 
Has for, she? Her, for her class reunion, I think it was the 30th, she had flew all her classmates out to the show and they had did a uh -huh. big class reunion. Thing. That's out there. I'm talking for the city that she's she from. Has she she's ever? She's not from there. She not. They she moved. came from New Orleans, didn't she? Yeah, well, I, she moved to New Orleans later, but they had, I, I don't know what the story was, but they had moved to Atlanta. Yeah. Like, and she had kind of like grew up there. Yeah, there, I then, seen that. I read that. she graduated, she moved to New Orleans and then went from there. So it's not, you know. But that's still a part that's still of her. Good. I know so many people. Yeah. Like even like I was just talking about uh, 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 Martin, his son. He originally was born in uh, California, and he didn't move to East Texas until he was like twelve. Wow! So you know what I mean? Like so, yeah. It's, it's a bunch of situations like that to yeah, where yeah, you know yeah. kids move when they're like, and you know, so okay, well, different I want, allegiances. I, I got another question. Like when you went back home after this song just blew like that, how was it? It was cool. Everybody was happy. Everybody was happy. Nobody they, hating? No. No, nah, not at no, all. Time. No, they no, all know no, each other. No, no, no. Everybody know each other. Okay, you know, some people be like, oh, that should have been me. No, mm -hmm. they can. They, they, nobody they, rapped. I was nobody, the only one He's the rapped. only one. <laughs> I was the only one that rapped. Like, everybody knew I rapped. So, and I was the only one that wanted to rap. So, it was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. how, do you, how do you feel about the way it went from tra the music transition from CDs to, like, where it's at now? Um, to streaming? You know, it just causes you to be more innovative with your thinking. I yeah. Think, I think, like, the imagination that people used to have to use as far as creating the yeah. music and yeah. stuff like that, now you have to use that same imagination with how do you get the listener to stay in tune with what you're doing? Because, yeah. like, now everything is, like, and, you know, it's crazy when you think about it, like, from even just the transition from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, like, how... You know, it uh, album would be two or three songs. Yeah. And then it went to, like, five songs. Yeah. And then it went to ten songs. It, or, and then it went to 20, 30 songs. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. You know, Double Ds. You know what I mean? Like, it just... Everything transitions because you never know, you know, how people are listening to music, whether it be radio or, you know, you know now internet and different things like that, telephone. Music changes so much. Well, the way people receive it and the way people get it. Yeah. So... Like, I swear, um, I was in probably about two years ago, and I just had an epiphany. I was in the Dallas Cab North with DJ Chubb. And I've been knowing Chubb 10 years. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, I remember taking a CD to Chubb, you know what I mean, of Homegirl. You know, I can literally remember that. And a dude came up to him and paid him $20 to play his song, and he pulled it off of YouTube. Really? Like, that, he downloaded it off of YouTube. Chubb did. Chubb said, well, oh, he didn't have it, like, USB or CD, he just had a YouTube link and he downloaded it off YouTube and he played it off of YouTube. You know what I'm saying, like off YouTube. Mm. And I look out and I can remember whisper to him and say, "You couldn't have done that ten years ago, right?" And he just <laughs> laughed and said, "You know what I'm saying? Nah, you couldn't." Yeah. Like I can just remember, like, like I just like I just did an event. Uh, play one shot, play one. His her birthday, happy birthday, to her. And DJ Q was there. Yeah. I remember Q used to. Uh, he didn't even have Serato like for a while. He uh, like when everybody was transitioning. He still had the CDJs where, you know, he traveling around sixteen CD books with, you know, what I'm saying the the song on the CD to know which song and he going song to song and and like I can remember Q doing that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. Now he's, you know, he, he had to, you know, what I mean, just so many. He had to change it up. Yeah, yeah. it's just crazy. When you it, just it's a lot it. of things. DJs had to change. Everybody had to change. Like, DJ the getting, world like, changed. I was getting ringtone money. Yeah. Oh, you was. Like, like the last little bit of ringtone well, money. Let, let me ask you this. So, so, so think about, like, you got to really think about that. Like, I was getting ringtone money. Like, nobody even has, like. No, uh, you and Soldier Boy was the only two doing it. I mean, it. Well, no, I'm, I was the last. Of it. Like, <laughs> I'm saying, like, like probably, like, the last little bit where, you know, people stopped paying for ringtone. Yeah, yeah. So, did you, did you still, you did you own, you was the rights to your music, royalties I mean, well, and all you that? Know, I got publishing, you know what okay. I mean? Everything shared. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? of yeah, course. Because you, know. you did sign a major deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, but uh, as far as, you know, writers go and publishers go, I've still got a percentage and That's stuff what's like up, that. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, 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 that means something. You know, a lot of cats can't say that, bro. Oh, yeah, You definitely. Change, you definitely, like I say, you the GOAT, man, when it comes down to it. I wish. From I East was, Texas, yeah, stop yeah, playing, yeah, nigga. Yeah. You better step from, into that position. From, from Atlanta. We yeah, from Atlanta. I said, Texas. yeah, but East Texas is a, is a whole. I mean, I would say that myself, but, you know, people. No, say it. Step they, into it. Make the niggas knock you off the talk. They're going to show come for you. They try 
high, but they got a long way to go. You did something special, man. Yeah, that I mean, it'd be hard. It's hard. Like, and then now like, you can't never do what you've done a lot of time because it's a different time. Yeah, and then you try to give the proper advice, and you try to tell people what to do, and then they still run off and go do like the weirdest shit in the world. And you'd be like. I, do you when have you what do you do with, what, what do you do with the advice oh, all come the time. down there and try to no educate. all the time people hit me up and ask for like yo what should advice, I do advice guidance you know, yeah like give me advice and they don't follow it they don't follow it the right way <laughs> they don't follow it the right way it was, some, hey. it, was, it was something L.A. Reed told me uh, after I got my deal and after I had already fucked up but he had told me something that I always resonates with me every day and it's do everything right and at the time when he told that to me I didn't know what it meant. Yeah. And I had already fucked up and did a whole bunch of shit wrong. Yeah. So I was like, how can I get to doing everything right? How can I get to right to doing everything right? But that's something that resonates with But me. how is that possible to do everything right? It's, There's it's, no such yeah, thing. Yes, it is. It's more important. Like, whatever you dedicate yourself to, if it's like a, like this radio show, don't allow mistakes. But you're going to make mistakes. No, but don't allow mistakes. It's a different from making a mistake and allowing mistakes. When you allow mistakes to linger instead of fixing them right then, that's how you're doing okay. everything wrong. Do everything right. No, Do you're it, right. Be, be so absolutely prepared that nothing can fail. You yeah. know what I mean? And that, I, at that time, at 22, I had absolutely no idea what no, you were no, talking about. No, 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 you're about. right. I was just... How the fuck do I do everything that's right? That's almost like, sound like when they say, um, always expect the unexpected. Uh, it's It's... it's be prepared for everything and be over prepared for what's not going to happen and for everything that you expect to happen expect for it to fuck up and be expect to fix it and everybody around you is an idiot and you have to do everything for everybody i know i feel that 100% and, and do every, that's how you do everything right that's, i feel it that's, I feel that's it. how I, it took me i think he gave you some me, good advice it took me therapy and 10 years <laughs> of mistakes to understand what that meant like so, <laughs> like, like so you know what i mean there ain't no overnight figure out what that means but i'm gonna pull so up are I'm, you that person now i try to be you know well what i say you're if work it, in what, progress well when it comes to music when it comes to my music and career i'm a do everything right type person like but you can't account for people going out of their way to fuck you up. So, you know, when people are going out of their way to fuck you up, it's just... so you, That's the only thing into doing everything right that you can't, you know, kind of defeat is other people, you know, bulldozing and doing everything they possibly can to ruin what the fuck you got. So, so have you worked with... I mean, you know, East Texas popping right now. Are they? Uh, when I say popping, I'm going to say it in a way to where people beginning to recognize. I have interviewed a lot. Sergeant J, he I got that Sergeant song Busted. Well, I love Sergeant and, J. And, and well, Tupac. you gotta understand, his big brother, Ricky. Well, yeah, his Sergeant big brother, B. Sergeant B. B. He <laughs> been on here. You ain't seen that episode, did you? I didn't, but his big brother, Ricky, uh, Sergeant B, we graduated, well, the same year. He's from LE, I'm from Atlanta. Yeah. Like, and he was, like, he's the only other person I knew coming growing up that rapped. But he was way further advanced than I was. He had, like CDs, he was doing shows, he had a studio, yeah. he was making beats. Like this was, you know, when I, you know, like we were in high school, like he's always been so far advanced. So to see his little brother, you know, be in this, you know, having this, it's, one certified. It's, it's crazy, you know yeah. what I mean? Because, you know, I can remember, I remember it was this, uh, it was kind of like a talent show, or whatever, but it was in, it was in Liberty Island. And he was performing. Like, I can re literally remember watching him perform at 14, 15 years old. Like, wow. watching him. You know what I'm saying? So. That's crazy. Kate, uh, no, it was a. Uh, I didn't realize they was they knew each other like that. Yeah, definitely. definitely. That's I dope. Go, I That's still, dope. I, go, I still, like, when I go down there, I record at the studio. You do? Yeah. I got to holler at him. Me and him talk a lot. Like, I yeah, called him. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I talked to him the other day. They about to come back on the show. Well, so he who, is. He coming by himself. Oh, okay. So, who do you think is the next rising star out of East Texas? I, I have. No idea. He ain't you tapped in. He ain't yeah. tapped in. I'm, I, when I say I'm not tapped in, I'm not tapped in because, and it's personal. And when I say it's personal, is I think like, like the Blaze, and then like 103.5. I think these people are the reason why East Texas doesn't get the opportunity to blossom. Okay. The way for most artists, the way. Even and I, and I have to use Dallas for example, and over Houston because Dallas is a perfect example of how if the radio will invest in you, how it can help the artist. Mm -hmm. Because so many like artists, uh, 
Young T, uh, Young T, uh, hit her with the Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if you remember that, but uh, they played his shit so much during uh, what was it, All Star Weekend? You know what I'm saying? He got a deal off of that. Wow. You know what I mean? Like whether or not you know what I'm saying, they still playing him with the Jimmy or not. They played his shit. The radio it was invested in him enough to where they played his shit so much to where he got a deal off of that. Wow. Same thing happened. Um, I went to the BT Awards, uh, 2000, it was 2010, 2011, I can't remember. But they was playing YG's Tooted and Booted on one on Power 106, like every fucking three minutes. It really? Was, Go to the club, say what's up, Tooted and Booted, every three minutes, every three minutes. <laughs> to, to the point to where I, I asked, I'm asking like, who is this? Like, what is this song? Like, that and they like, that's YG, he signed to Def Jam too. So I go to this dream party, and then it there goes YG, right there. You doing interviews? He's excited. Yeah, okay, just got a co-sign for Snoop Dogg, and he's no different at this time for me. You know, in his part of California, he's got a hot song. It's, he got a homegirl, basically. You know what I mean with two yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, it's just like, just the era and just the time is just so unique, so different. Just that, that's crazy. But you say the radios, you feel like they don't play enough of the artists in the area. I don't remember. Okay, I'll say this. In my song, I say, you have to go to East Texas to find my kind. I do not remember the blaze, like, like in, uh, like, K -K -T -K -A -D -A, not in 97, nine in Chicago, and, uh, I can't think. Like, a bunch of other stations. I, I was very specific stations, though. They played my shit 70 times a day. Wow. So, if I'm getting 25 spins in Tyler, and these other places that has, that I have no bearing of East Texas are playing me 70 times, you, like, you know I what I mean? Like, it, it's like... Yeah, but do you think they just wasn't educated on the film? Well, man, I mean, how can you not be educated in the radio? Well, I mean... Man, uh, like, that's... that. I'm just trying to understand why they wouldn't do it. Because, and did they play any song 70 yeah, yeah, times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yes. People you see who that weren't from down yeah. there. Yeah, you play. They gonna they gonna play uh, the Dallas all, you know all that other stuff. Them Jeezy records, them Lil Wayne records. Oh yeah, they play the hell out of you. You know what I'm saying? Thirty times. You know what I mean? So did you ever go on 106 in Park? Mm mm. You didn't never get to go. I never got to go. That's uh, crazy. My, 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 um, the song was too vocal. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah, right, right. I didn't even get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Party Boys did, but my song was too and vocal. And me and Duro, we were talking about the other day. He went. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you definitely, know. definitely. Daryl had a platinum hit, man. He killed him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, he, yeah, he was with you, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, Purview. He, same year. But hey, Dero, who, who, who Dero, song was the biggest during time? Because he had that walk that wall. Uh, Dero, Dero has always been the biggest. Dero, really? Yeah, Dero is, the, Dero is probably the hardest working pe person I've seen work towards something that was, that you, that's literally impossible. I've never seen somebody work as hard as Dero. Like, that's on like, everything. Like I work as hard as I do now because of Duro. Like, wow. like he. Was, that's a good. That's a big shout out. Like he literally, like when we was at PV, he hit the ground running. <laughs> like everybody else worried about everything else, bitches, this, this, this. No, he out right. there, like he, he found somebody that recorded that, like, and he put. He had a CD that he came with. You wow. know what I'm saying? He was. Pumping that CD, you know what I mean. I was too ashamed to pump mine, but he was, <laughs> he was pumping. He his was 21, art. 22. No, nah, he was eighteen. No, you. You know, I'm saying y'all was both eighteen. Eighteen. That's wow. what I'm saying. Freshman year, just freshman year at PV, he hit the ground running. He was selling, and then, he, and then he made a CD. He got like all the rappers in the UC and all the rappers that he could think of or that claim that rap, except for me, of course. Yeah. That uh, and he he did this mixtape and did on the uh the bus uh the touch it the bus to touch it. They all did a verse on the budget, uh, bus to touch it. Like that was freshman year. He put a project out every year until walk that walk and uh, everything happened. Really? Like he literally was on it. Anytime there was a like a concert, like Boost Mobile to come or some shit like that, he find a way to perform. Like you look up, we be in the audience. You know what I'm saying? Vibing. You and know, he come out performing. <laughs> you like this dude? Is and we be sitting there like. How the fuck this nigga performing, and we sitting here. Why are we not performing? Why is this? Because he me? had that he, drive. He figured it he out. Figured it out. Like that's yeah, what I'm saying. And it, it was just, it was, you know, it goes from jealousy to inspirational because you just like, how the fuck is this thing going out? 
<laughs> and then you be like, I need to be doing whatever the fuck he's doing. Like whatever the fuck he's doing, I need to be doing what he's doing. Wow. Yeah. He he definitely. He we had a great interview and. Definitely, yeah. I'm loving this, man. Nah, he's a hard fucking I didn't worker. Think, I didn't like, know he like, worked like, that hard like, like that like, until I met him. He's a great businessman. I can tell you that much. Fuck all that. <laughs> hard <laughs> fucking I'm hard. talking like hard fucking worker. Like, like, <laughs> it just, it like he know. You no, know, like, like, you, you, like, I'm talking like, you gotta, like, eight, like we're at Prairie View. Like, I want you to understand. <laughs> no, like, what, uh, but I know what Central. It, no, like, uh, uh, yeah. I, this is like, okay. Yeah, this is what they called the, yeah, they had a name for it. This is like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, but you know what I mean? Just a man, I, I, you know, this is the live shit going on in Kingston, wherever the live shit going on in Kingston is, you know what I mean? Trinity Gardens or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is that, you know what I'm saying? This is going, it's going down every day. Like, I want you to understand on Wednesday at 12 o'clock at noon, we throw a party in the middle of campus. <laughs> you have classes. We have a party <laughs> going on in the middle of campus from twelve to one, like from twelve, and then on, at for home, one hour, it's going down, <laughs> and it's Who not parties a, for one hour. From twelve to <laughs> one, it's going down, and I mean like it's it's a movie. It's going down. Do like, they still do that today? Yes, it's oh a tradition. Lord. It's been going on since I don't know, but it's a tradition. Like it won't stop. Like wow! Like if we went out there but and went no, how, do you party, how do you party and then go right back to class and like everything is fine? Exactly, that's what makes you a panther. That's what makes us unique from the rest of the universities because nobody else could be able to figure that out. And wow. you actually did that. I did that for a long but time. What, but, I have a but, master's degree from Prairie View, so yes, I did that for a very long so time. What and you that? went to all the parties. As many as I could. <laughs> what about <laughs> after I made hunger, I stopped going. Let's let's go back to the road. What did he do during this time? Uh, was he partying and was he doing all well, that stuff too? He was at Hump Day because he was pushing his music. He was <laughs> like he'd be on the DJ. He was focused up there with the DJ booth and pushing. You know, trying to make sure that whatever song you he had the song do the muscle. He making sure that whoever fuck was DJ and was playing do the muscle like whatever it was like never seen. So, so was prime time clicking all of them rocking with him. Yeah, it was 50 of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was 50 of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? 50 of them. You know? <laughs> 50 of them. They just rolling yeah, through. Yeah, that many. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, I'm exactly. Yeah, but they, 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 they yeah. were showing yeah. their presence, you know, right? You know, they get on stage and, see, you know, why the fuck me? And I'm talking to my, you know. Uh, yeah, your partner. Solar Slim, you know, the one. Who yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking to him. What the fuck are we doing? We just. <laughs> <laughs> I you love I mean? it. Because yeah, you so. already had the drive. You knew you was going to rap. I wanted to. And, and my partner, Solar Slim, him too. He wanted, like, uh, his mom is uh, Queen Delta. You know what I mean? She was the head of the Fort Worth chapter yeah. of Delta Sigma Theta. So, she, and so growing up, he had to make all the Delta songs and do all the Delta mixes for the step shows. And he was yeah. been doing that since he was 14, 15. Okay. So, you know. He had the same kind of drive, you know what I mean, that I did, you know, more so from a producer aspect okay, okay. Than, than I did, but, you know, it was the same kind of drive. And we would just be arguing, like, just going back and forth about different shit that we need to do. He wanted to put out a clean, ver like, a all clean album where we don't cuss and all this You wasn't type hearing that. Was not. But <laughs> all kind of different. But, but we butted head. But the one thing we didn't butt heads on was that that nigga DeRoe was figuring it the fuck out. <laughs> we yeah. both, it was like, whatever the fuck he's doing, he's figuring it the fuck out. Yeah, like, so you guys, you, you your song, when it actually hit, you, you go out of town. You out of college or you back into college? I was. You, you say you went back to class. How, how long had you got? Okay, I was like, uh, when I first got, when everything first popped off, like when, the song was starting to get popular. I was still in school. Then I had... And DeRoe was in there, too. He was, and then he left... He left a year before uh, because of everything was, was starting to trying pop off. to pop off for Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. So he had left a year before. And uh, I was still there, like, until, like... A, and then I took, like, a semester off. Oh, really? Yeah, I took a semester off, and then I went back. So, So today, do you use your... The, the the college you you got your masters man I mean, stop I, playing man. I use them in the sense of like dealing with everyday like my masters is in sociology so, okay you know dealing with the human behavior of people and yeah. different yeah. geographies and yeah. places that I go and you know for me it's just like personal research yeah. like okay why do people in Cincinnati listen to music like this and why yeah. did, you know what I mean like mm -hmm. I'll be doing like 
dumb fucking research in my mind to myself about, okay, well, if I'm going to do this, I need to do, you know what I mean? Just different ways. It's just weird So shit. getting a master's in that it helps you in today's society with a lot of things? For me, it helps me because I'm a very weird individual. Now, it might not <laughs> help everybody, but it helps me. How you how weird? What are you talking about? I mean, just like the way I analyze and I see things. Like like I was saying, like uh, as far as analyzing human behavior of listening patterns for different people in different places and different areas, like different type of music that they want to listen to in the club when they go to the club. Like uh, example, I went and did a show in Shreveport. Ninety percent of the music that the DJ played was, uh, you know. Bow, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, yeah, just, you yeah. know what I mean? The Louisiana yeah, bow, 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 you know what I mean? Just everything, you know, rolling like 18 Willow, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 Field yeah. Man, just, you know what I mean? All of that. They've been doing you know that a long mean? time. Okay. And then last night, I'm in Fort Worth uh, and I, at Pinups, and the DJ's playing, you know, a more neglected, you know, Atlanta, Jeezy, Gucci, trapped out type of, you know, vibe, you right. know what I mean? In the strip club, you know what I mean? As opposed to, the bouncy, bow, 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 you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to know these things when you perform because you don't want to get on stage doing, like, some hard shit, and these people don't respond to that. They respond you to gotta know. bow, 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 bow. So you need to be trying to figure out yeah, to what do they some, respond some bow, to. bow, bow, bow shit. Yeah. So whenever you doing that, and then you go in, I go in the home, girl, it's a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. But And it'd be different. Like, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, is strangely, like, uh, a lot rougher than what people might think. So, and they like the rough shit. Yeah, so yeah. you got to be a lot rougher with them. You know what I'm saying? You know, in the songs that you choose to do before you go into, you know, just the different hard shit. Yeah. So yeah. It, for me, that's what I use okay. it for, different things okay. like that. So I know, like, I don't like when I'm on stage and people are staring at me. So, so did right you, now, I was going to ask him, did he? Did you perform at pinups last uh, I ain't performing. Nah, I just went just hanging there. out up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah, out to Frost over there. That's one yeah, of my yeah, 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 yeah. Me Frost. and him, he been on here. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Frost yeah. was in the building. J Red was DJing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. J Red was DJing. But my boy Fresh, he go DJ Fresh. He DJ next week. Mm -hmm. yeah. He told me that already. I be because we talk a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. We all, but we all, we all partners. Gotta man. stay in it, man. <laughs> so, D, are you currently doing this full time? Or are you what rap music? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been doing rapping, doing it like full time since Stand I graduated. Staying relevant. Okay. Yeah, song, so. song hit hard. Then he, I, I listened to your new song, but he, he, I didn't. He didn't send me the name. It was like one. It was a new song you just done. Yeah, probably wild thing. If Mike and I sent it. Yeah, but well, he sent it to me, and yeah, I yeah, listened. Yeah. To, I like it. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's more. It, you know, what I'm saying? It's, it's a joint effort on that. Yeah, with me so, and him. But. So, are you, you gonna pull out? You gotta have visuals now, man. You, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, just got, got the look, bro. I, I just got through shooting a video with Giovanni last week. I'm just waiting. Did on you? Yeah, yeah. He been on the show. Yeah, I love Giovanni. Man, it's crazy. Everybody, you know, they done been yeah, on yeah, the show. You know, they been Giovanni, tapping in. Man, Giovanni. I remember Giovanni was like the only guy from Waco rapping. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What I'm saying like, yeah, so, that, yeah. So you, you know, know, Flex and Fab. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah, they yeah. supposed to be here tomorrow, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I made a I made a Flex and Fab. Uh, Probably, but when the flip and um, Tom Tom was shooting a video on Waco, we yeah. were doing the album together. Yeah, man, he he got great energy. Me and him do good interviews together. There's certain people you get with him, and y'all just be, he loves, he go into his whole character, how things happen for him, he excited about it. Yeah. Same way, you know, I you know I didn't know what to expect from you, but the country, you know, being from Atlanta, mm -hmm. how they accepted the music, how you, I didn't know the, I didn't know you knew Sergeant B like that. Yeah, that's crazy because I should have knew that, but because they are around the same age. And East Texas the same, I mean, but I mean, it's this. Big. I mean, we graduated both graduated in 05, so I mean, he probably older than me because my birthday in July. But yeah, yeah, July what? Another 14? July person. Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, yeah we'd have everybody from July. <laughs> but no, um, so. I, I definitely want to know your top three uh, artists of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta have three. Any yeah. genre? Yeah. Um, Number one, my favorite rapper is Eminem. Wow. Don't ask me why. Uh, <laughs> don't ask me why. <laughs> don't ask me why. I'm not gonna ask you why. Um, Number two, Curtis. We say just artists in any genre. Curtis, any genre. Curtis, Curtis Mayfield. Curtis yeah. Mayfield. That's a dope. Curtis, that's yeah, a dope Curtis choice. Is definitely two. And any gender. Yeah, and then um, <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I've never. I see always. It's usually top rappers. So when you have to think artists, it's like man. Um, I like Curtis Mayfield. That was a good choice. Yeah, Curtis Mayfield. I love Curtis Mayfield. Number three always a trip, right? Yeah. Because everybody has to like narrow it down, and they hate that part. Yeah, I don't know. Um, man, 
it's so hard when you just think about that. Just Three, generally. right? Mm-hmm. Cause I was good with Eminem and Curtis Mayfield, and then you think about the last one. It's like, well, who do you choose? Because you have to narrow it down. People yeah. always be like, "Can I put two in there?" And I don't no. know. I don't know who. I, I, you got to give us the three. I do a top three for a reason. I don't know who the third would be. I've, I'm trying to think about who I listen to so much. That exactly. Yeah, because who your exactly. ear listens to? What yeah. you gonna say? Or who inspired you too? As well, that could be someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm in that. But you know, this is what I'm saying. You know, my top. It's not about who inspired me. It's just about the time. Who you like. Yeah, you know I, what I mean? I really like, be going by who you like, who whose music you listen to. I don't know. I'm kind of lame, I guess. Mm-hmm. Who man, that's here? what I was thinking. And I don't know. I Man, I just, I really don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Because, like, Let's you want to somebody you want to say Pimp C, but. Whoa, that's the punchline. That's the punchline. Give me some more. That means that he's not going to give what I'm you the punchline. Yeah, yeah, but I'm still like, excited. Saying, what I tell you, anytime I, You know, you was over there acting so laid back until he said Pimp C, that's because they that come out every show. That's who I rock with, you know? <laughs> Go ahead. But well, you want to say PMC, but you can't. So you because it's a group. Yeah, you, you know, can. Yeah, Everybody yeah, been yeah, saying yeah, it anyway. Yeah, a lot right. of people. They, I, yeah. they I always wonder. I always wonder how Bun feels about that. Now, you know? I think because he, the, you, he probably called okay. Well, I met him a few times, but I, I bet he okay with it because he passed away. And you know, at the end of the day, he knows how much he meant. Now I guarantee it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bun was on the Homegirl remix too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that that that's the homie. I I, I love it the way he is about family, man. Yeah, definitely. So so you don't you you gonna say pimp? Yeah, give it up, baby. Pimp. Give it up, I, damn. I, I would say pimp. Yeah, like, like, you just put yeah. It in here like, oh, no, so I mean, now you just He you said it, I didn't. He said it, I did, but, man. But I love Prince too. You know, that I mean? is, yeah, Prince I cool. Prince I like that. Like, I love Prince. That's his hey man, three. what are you tripping on, man? You all right? You ever been to Paisley Park? No. Where's that? In Atlanta? In Minneapolis, Minnesota. Say, uh, that's Prince's made, studio. I, how the crazy. hell I'm doing up there? You talking about just in the area? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My neighbor, he's from there. You have people who go there just to, just to see I did. It. I touched the walls. You got to go touch the walls. You got to go touch the walls. Touch the walls. That boy played feel a lot of instruments, boy. Feel the vibes. You got to go in there. People go the there just to go there. Yeah. I got to ask you a question about, um, like, um, if you could help a young dude that was coming up from a small town. We ain't going to say Atlanta, but a small town. <laughs> and he was trying to get into the business. What would you suggest he do if he write, he like 16, 17? Man, I got a list of steps that I usually just give people when they start asking me questions really? like that. Yeah, I got like a 18 list of steps. Well, give me an example so like, people can hear first, it through our ways. The first thing is, you know, record the music. Okay. Like, because you can, you know, you can have a dream all you want, but okay. a dream with not no music is a dream deferred. So mm-hmm. we must have the music. So the most important thing is the music. Like, don't worry about nothing until you got music. Then after you got music and music that you like and you're confident in, that you're confident enough to present the people, then you can go to the next step. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, if you ain't, but if you ain't got nothing that you're confident in presenting the people, then, you know. I got to ask you about Smoothie, too. Do you ever run into him over there? Uh, I haven't. You know what I'm talking like yeah, at, yeah, at, yeah, at, yeah, 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 yeah. And the reason I asked that is because of Sergeant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's Sarge's artist. Uh, yeah, Smoothie. yeah, he yeah, worked yeah, with yeah. him a lot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought maybe y'all ran in each other. What about? I mean, I've I've been in the studio with him. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do video wise, have have you, you did anything to where you know you gonna have some visuals coming? out? I'm real picky yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I, I got uh, I gotta see those. I, I just uh, I just shot a video for Wild Thing. Uh, the, okay, the song that uh, Mike and I sent you. Yeah, like, with Giovanni, we shot it last week. So yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna coming. get to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In I, a few I, weeks. Yeah, I'm gonna be bragging about it too. I'm gonna be on here saying mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But to me, it's Texas cat man, you 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 the king of that now. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let. Do you got anything else? No, sir. Say man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. man uh, I appreciate. Say that. man, how can how can people get a hold of you? Hey, everything on the Mac, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Well, Facebook is Bone M Diggity. Okay. Uh, yeah, Where did uh, you get that name Bone from? <laughs> my nickname is Hambone. The nigga got a hell of a song. I know where he got it from. He got a stand in that song. Yeah, yeah. My nickname is Hambone. And you know. But every- I bet you get a lot of things from that damn song, man. And everybody just calls me Bone, so <laughs> So that's how that's how that Who came gave about. you that name? What Hambone? Hambone. My football coach, Coach Blackwood, when I was twelve years old, he started calling me. Just randomly start came to football. He, I, we were stretching and he said, you know. I think I'm gonna call you Hambone. Wow! And I was like, okay, <laughs> like, rock okay. with it. I rock with it. You know, like yeah. So, so I've been Hambone since I was 12 years man. old. Man, since that day. 
So man, uh, how you like our setup, man? This is, I love it. I love it. Like I'm gonna buy some. I'm buy those shoes. What's okay? We'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that you got a shopping habit too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so thank you for coming on the show, man. And hey, man, we love you and we appreciate you. Thank you for what you've done, what you brought, your legacy. Thank you for that, man. Oh, thank real you. talk, I, man. I appreciate you so much, like, man. And I, you no, know, no, it's real. Yeah, yeah, for real. Because at real. the end of the day, you from you from where I'm from. Yeah, man. What you need to do is you need to get like a uh, uh, what's his name uh, Ice. From uh 102. Okay. And you need to get a uh, uh, DJ Juice on here. You need to ask DJ them. Juice been on here. DJ Juice been on here. Oh, did you ask him why did uh, he don't play East Texas artists on the radio? He, I didn't know he didn't because he came here with Smitty, which is his which one is of his artists. Right, his artist. So, so I didn't know. He plays a lot of. I don't. East I, Texas. I'm not from down there. So I'm from down there, but I don't be. I be up here. So I didn't really know the ins and outs. So, but next time he well, coming back, I'm gonna ask do, him. What you should do is is you should pull up the playlist. On the internet of one, you go to one hundred two blaze dot com and pull up the playlist because you can like pull up the list live of all the songs they play, and there won't be one artist on there from East Texas. Wow, I'm and gonna definitely check into that. Just, you just scroll through and be like, oh, mm, mm, he's not from East. Do Texas. you think it's because he's nobody from, stands up and say it needs to happen? No, nah, everybody stand up and saying it. And now, of course, we know politics and corporate and all that. Of that course, things you know what I mean. But it's Tyler. It got we got to change. You know what I mean, like. We gotta it, change. It ain't that much politics going on in Tyler. Like I know to where you know what I'm saying. It's gotta change. They don't support artists. Like period. Tyler, like 1069 Blaze, one of they don't support. They don't artists. support them. You know what I mean? Period. I, I literally don't under, like. If there was a way to like kind of like create like a 93.7 like the way they did on yeah. 97.9 in Houston, if there was a way to kind of do that for Tyler, that I would. Def, like nobody would listen to 102 106 guys in the blaze anymore man I mean that's because something they, they don't support local artists I'm getting it back on the show I, mean, I, can, I wanna I mean, know and ask him like why you don't play these text and then he'll you know get, you know give you the roundabout <laughs> answer but I mean in honesty like like and he, and I, I'm a big young I'm not cross country black I love cross country okay. black like you know what I'm saying I'm a huge fan he did a record for me on my last project okay but He'll play cross country black before he plays somebody from East Texas, wow. which is no knock. You know what I'm saying? Because he's dope and yeah. he deserves to be played just as much as anybody else. But mm -hmm. if an East Texas artist came to him, okay, okay, man, yeah, hey, y'all, there you have it, uh, DJ Juice. You need to try to play some people that, and you follow me on IG, so you probably gonna see that. And you on my, Him, my uh, I mean, I've never, I've literally, like, we literally went down there because uh, we was a. Uh, not uh, Lil Troy. We went down there and hollered at Lil Troy because he was down there working a record uh, <laughs> with his son T2. And there was no East Texas artists coming. Like, you know wow. how at K104 they got the Mondays where you can go do the, the Monday music review. Mm -hmm. Ain't none of that. You know wow. what I'm saying? Going on. Like, all of the things that you could, like, that we know, like, the yeah, general public yeah, knows yeah. that you can go to K104 yeah. on a Monday. Yeah, on a Monday, and they got the Music Monday review. Everybody knows that. You cannot go to 102, 102.7, 106.9 The Blaze and get nothing. Man, so. Because I got this white boy that I work with, JLC. Uh, he's uh, out of Dangerfield. Okay. He's been trying to get Juice to play his music for years, and he get the same response. And he's willing to pay. You yeah, know what I'm saying? To pay you know, or and he's I'm not gonna take the money, but you know what I'm saying? Like he's willing to pay, but there's no avenue to where you can get on the radio. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? It used to be at least if you had the bread, you could get at least get two or three spins. You know what I'm saying? Well at so, least there, at least there it don't matter. And then uh same thing in 103.5 in uh, the the radio uh, KZRB the radio station in New Boston, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, for that area in Texas County area. Same thing. Same thing. They, and and so you think and, that you think that's what's even, holding and, back and, a lot of the and they don't even like report. You know what I'm saying? They just a a real live just a station. You know what I mean? Like they don't even report. Like they don't even show up on uh, like for the bread. You know what I mean? Like it's just you know it's crazy. At and the they, end of the day, they're they like to be. And I can go, I can go to Waco and holler at DJ Precise, shout out to DJ Precise, and go holler at them on 94.5, and he'll let me come on the radio just like this and break a new record. No, no thing. You know what I'm saying? Same thing at Colleen. I can go to Colleen and do the same thing. Like, 
and and they don't report. You know what I'm saying? Waco, Colleen, they don't report. Like you know, like K, you know, KDK, DA, and you know all that. They don't report, but they still have the ear of the majority because they support local artists. Like in Waco. They support their local, local artists. artists. Like they gonna play. You gonna be riding through Waco if you listen to the radio. You gonna hear something that you ain't never heard before. You gonna be like, I don't know who this is, and he gonna say something about Waco, and you be like, oh, he must be from Waco then. Like, oh man. Like Colleen the same way. Like even a uh, uh, Spark Dog was doing the, the the intro song for the DJ. I can remember one time, probably about three four years ago, Lil Hood had a party going on, and they was like all on the radio, Lil Hood, Lil Hood, Lil Hood, just you know what I mean. It's just some places what you expect to where if it's a small town and they have a radio to where a radio can be, you know, it's not like how 97.9 The Box is. It's syndicated with iHeart, uh, Radio 1, and things like this. It's just kind of just an independent radio station working, you know, building. It's, do you think do, do you think that an artist got to go and 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 just get out of out from down there? You just told that yeah, really. You are pretty much saying I an artist it. has I to leave. I literally could not have I literally would have not with Homegirl. You wouldn't have popped with, in, with, in your with, in home, East Texas. Talking, with Homegirl. If I would have made Homegirl stand in Atlanta, Texas, I wouldn't have made it. Cuz I wouldn't have had any support from anybody in East Texas. Wow. Wow. Cause, Cause, I'm gonna be honest. I could have took if I would have took that radio to Ju if I took that record to Juice and, and, and Luscious Ice and, and and all of them at at first they wouldn't have played it. They would have told me, "Oh, it's good," but I because <laughs> they maybe they they, they, <laughs> they they can't do it. They can't support local artists. They they don't. I don't know. I don't know the reason. I just know they don't. I can, we can, I can literally go, I can go get, I know at least three, like Ro Tarantino and, and a bunch of more he people. He was just on here. I Ask Ro Tarantino how many times he's been played on 96, on 96.9. They ain't doing it. Ask him. You ain't got to talk. But this ain't me. Just ask him. You can ask. Do you think his music is good? He willing to pay. <laughs> it don't matter, right? He willing to pay. Like how many, how many Trash ass songs have you heard that you just you know you yeah. eventually end you up liking? Li yeah, because they keep playing it. They paying them. Wow. So what? They money better than his money? No. So that, that's what blows me is like if you taking money, take the money. Yeah, yeah. Y'all taking money for ads? Like that's the game. That so, is the game. That is the game. Y'all tell. So he can't buy no ads. Like what is? You gotta be a certain person to buy ads. I gotta be white to buy ads. Like what is it? The game to where I can buy these ads to get these radio spins. What is it? Like what I gotta do? Like yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you will start asking about it. They talk around you. Like you know what I'm saying? You be like hey, so what? How many ads I gotta bid to get these radio spins? <laughs> 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 I don't do speak that. I, am, I don't speak that. Speak to me clear. Tell me what I gotta do, or tell me no. You've asked, you've asked many times. Or tell me no. He said you you've asked. asked or many tell times. me no. no. I'm asking. Yes, ma'am. Or tell me no. <laughs> tell me, and you get or you know they don't respond. You know what I'm saying? They walk off. You know shit like that. Keep DJing. Just pretend they DJing the shit. Act like they ain't even doing nothing. They ain't heard nothing you said. And spe I'm specifically for you for you saying that. You really you really what? making me think. Okay, an artist. If I was listening like, to you, like, if I was listening to you, and I know you've been in the game like you have and did all the work you've done in, I, I would literally I come to I Dallas or somewhere else I and take my songs like, everywhere the, the, else. The white boy, I I I I'll be helping. His name JLC. Uh, you can look him up. You can ask him. I literally told him he's wasting his time trying to do anything with anybody from East, East Texas, Texas. Or you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time and your money. It's not gonna help you. Wow. I li I asked him. I said, "How many people you know got their record played on 106.9?" He stared at me because I'm the only one, and they didn't want to play me. Wow. Like, and they didn't play you as many times as the other places did. 97, well, no, it was K104 showed you mad love. K and 97, 97 I can remember literally me personally riding in the car and flipping and hearing my song on both stations at the same time. Wow, that's love. And, and But it was hot. It was a hot song. I mean, and I'm appreciative. But yeah. we but we talking about East Texas. We're not talking about Dallas. Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah. Especially since you're from there, you'd think that they would do You would think, when, you would think like when the DJs heard had to go to East Texas, they'd have made a mix for it. They'd have had some type of blend. Nothing. Never nothing. I think I did two shows in Tyler. Wow. 
I, did you ever do any shows at uh, Forty Three? I know Duro did on uh, uh, at uh, it was called Yeah, I did UJ's. one. I did one. But, okay, cool. Uh, but that's he was just on here the other week. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I did one, but you know, like you you would think like well, okay. Well, I'll say this: like for Duro, when everything happened for him, you know, in Dallas, you know. It was, and I'll say, you know, with the whole the album sale thing and all that shit, it, that might have been difficult yeah, like, because it was a, it was a train. He he blew up in a transition time to where people were still trying to figure out streaming, and streaming didn't really exist. It was more so iTunes and people were just buying shit off iTunes, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. but people were stealing shit back then, really still getting music for free. You know what I mean? Figuring that out, so people weren't really buying. Okay. And he still went platinum in the era where people weren't buying shit. Wow. So you have to really look at that. You know what I mean? And he went real platinum, not like the fake platinum. You know what I'm saying? Like the streaming and all that. He went real like radio play. You know what I'm saying? It, like, real shit. So when you take a situation like that, whenever he w- did a show in Dallas or or anything and he got booked, he got the respect. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. Like, even now, he can go to the radio station and get an interview and they'll play his new set because that's his city. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Dallas yeah. is his city. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's from here. You know what I mean? And like, he was born in right. I mean, you know, he's from Lancaster, but he's from Dallas. Oh, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, he good. It, so it's no different for me than me being from Atlanta. I'm still from East Texas. Correct. So it shouldn't matter that I'm from Atlanta and I'm not from Tyler, that you're not playing my record or you won't. Like, I ain't never even did an interview with 1069. Never. Damn. That's not love, 106.9. Y'all know the boy was hey, a legend from down there. I, I'm recognizing him. I ain't going to have him in there talking and ranting about me because I know he, he telling he tell him it's from his heart. No, I'm, I'm just saying, like, we're, but we're talking about but East Texas. But we're telling artists. about, yeah, because I cut for the fact that I keep telling everybody East Texas got some nice artists. But you'll never but hear you him. Just, you just told that, me that's why. That's the reason why you'll never hear him. Yeah. Like, you'll, you'll never, like, you you ask Sergeant, why, why is Sergeant go, taking Smoothie? To, to, to Houston to do exactly. a fucking classroom concert instead yeah. of doing a, instead of doing a, a classroom concert in Tyler because the class, they don't got they don't got classroom concerts mm-hmm. for artists in Tyler mm-hmm. so it's like it's like they're not they don't they, they don't support fuck. they they do the whole pretend thing oh, no, 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 the pretend thing to get you to draw in to keep people to listening but but the, again like I said listening then, to you and, and I, then like you gotta understand there's Nobody that's ever done it, it's you know, besides me. Yeah, I'm I know. from Atlanta, so you know what I mean. For they don't Atlanta, have, Texas, so they don't have to. You know what I mean? They don't have they they don't have to. It ain't like they got an example. Like, oh shit, man, this nigga did it. Why you don't support me? This nigga, they won't do it. They ain't got like they won't give a art. It's probably somebody in Tyler right now, extremely talented enough to be CKP. And he getting like six million, seven million views on YouTube. I wonder how many. How Ask many? him. I wonder how many you times you can text they played. him right now. How many times have they played your record on 106.9? Text him and ask him. Damn sure him. gonna do it. Ask him that, and he'll probably a few times. Six million views. Yeah, yeah. You he talking is. to me right now by six million views? He gonna talk to you by two or three times. Wow. Do you know who Seeker P is? I don't. But shit, you got you know, a song I, called Tampa. I know it's struggle. <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit. What's the name of that channel? One hundred six point nine. 106.9, 102.7 The Blaze. You asked how many times they played your record. That six million record that you got six million folks then then took their time to look at. Okay. Because Homegirl just got a million. So if you got six million, that means people fucking with you. So And he even interviewed on, what's that thing? Genius. Genius, Genius the other day. You ever heard of that? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look at him. He doing big shit. And in, in his own city, he can't even get on the radio. <laughs> Great guy. And he can go get genius. Now, genius now, they got big bread. <laughs> but yeah. he, can't get, he can't get the blaze to fuck with him. To get him wow. New, he can't even get mix show. You know who do the mix show. So ask yeah. the person that does the mix show why they, they don't play local music in their mix show. Because, you know, I know you can't put it in rotation or whatever. So why you can't play on the mix show? How important do you think the radio is still? In East Texas, it's very fucking important. Because, you know, it's, it's because in society, everything is on gotta, Apple, well, Spotify, this. and all of that. Everybody's listening on the, to those the thing, now. The thing is about East Texas, though, is everybody go to work. Everybody got a job. So everybody got a car. Everybody in the car. And sometimes people listen to the phone, but majority of people still listen to the radio. 
like a large majority. Mm -hmm. And so if you're on the radio, you are considered what you are. You know what I mean? Like, shit, you're a rapper. You know what I mean? You're not this nigga that's doing DoorDash every day to get some money, you know what I'm saying, to pay for his studio time and shit like that. You are a rapper because the rate... It, it would make more sense if a, if a motherfucker was working at a, a Cooper Tire, Long Star Steel or some shit, and he was using that money to pay for his radio spins... That would make all the sense in the world. But a motherfucker can't even go get a good job at international paper or some shit like that and try to even make that type of investment because they wouldn't take the money. It's a waste of money. That boy said long star steel. Do you have kids? Four. Four. Yeah, that boy What's said long well, My granny worked up. That's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the oldest? How old? Uh, she nine. got laid off. Nine? She, she got okay, laid off a guess? couple of times. And my five, um, uh, two. And my five-year-old uh, is a rapper. The oh. five-year-old rapper? Five-year-old. Wait a minute, rapper. let's let's go she, back, man. She, she's a rapper. Oh. She's a rapper. Yeah. Are you are you training her? I am not. I I was one day me and Mike Knight was in the car and I was just playing some beats and she's like, Daddy, these your beats? Uh oh. Like, yeah. I, I was like, Yeah. She's like, So I can just rap to you? She's like, Okay. And she just sat back there. And that's the and, first time you heard her rap. And she rapped from Irving to Mithlonia. Wow. wow. Freestyle from over the middle. I don't know what she was saying, but she was on beat. Her okay? case was, was on good. I was, I just was like, well, you know. Just, yeah, yeah. You never know. It was, it was, that was a proud moment. Not a proud moment, just like a. No, nah, that was a proud just, moment. I'm like not going to let you pass by. That's your baby it, girl. It was like a, it's a real kind of, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you you know what I mean? Because I don't, she ain't never seen me perform or never, you know, seen me like rap or nothing. Oh, like but that. she know her daddy rap. It's in the jeans. Yeah, no, yeah, right? she know it's her daddy rap, man. Talking, Stop yeah. playing. She know her father raps. Yeah. Ain't no way she don't know it. Yeah, but you know, she puts on no, the No, because when I, th when I think about kids, because like my daughter, or daughter, she's 15 years old, and when she jump in the car to go anywhere, the first thing she does, she go on her Spotify or her playlist or her this. She does not listen to the radio at all. And a lot of these younger kids, when they jump in their cars and they go their places, they're not listening to the radio. The well, new generation. She, she, I mean, she has her own car? Yes. Okay. Now, newer generation. Mm -hmm. But you have to think, there's still a population from... The older generation will listen to... And the then radio. you got to understand, the, the one thing in East Texas that really sucks is service. Because the phones will always be dropping out and different because you're driving through the country. So when you're driving through that country and the service is out, all you have is the radio. The radio. You know what I mean? And so, and some areas and, the radio sucks too. And and it's and you have to listen to one hundred six nine or or one hundred three five. You, you have know, to just like you know because I mean? it goes all the way down to Louisiana. And then from that point, you know, you're listening to popular fucking top forty. Basically, you know what I mean? Shit. But the, I mean, you still. I think because of the the internet and the way YouTube and stuff is doing. If a person you can't control it, that's why Tampa doing six million views was well, seven but, million. Okay, but you gotta understand though, if he was getting played on one hundred six nine on the Blaze, yeah, it would even be more strong. Forty, fifty times, I would know who he was. Yeah, because I would have heard his song mm -hmm. when I was driving back, back and, forth. and forth through home. Yeah. You know, because I listen to the radio just because I'm, you know, yeah. just want to hear it. Just, just curious to know. Yeah, yeah. Just supporting. Just, just started the, supporting. I ain't, I've never heard his song. Wow. It's called Tampa. And I drive back and forth from East Texas all the time. Wow. That's crazy. I 20 and I 30. That's crazy. And I have never heard his song. That is the radio station's fault. Yeah, they made it. That's not my fault. That's not his fault. That ain't nobody else's fault but the people at 1069 The Blaze. Wow. Wow, Bone. They're, they're literally not supporting it. And Bone, like I said, that that's a that's a hard one. And he could take ten thousand to them right now, and they still wouldn't play his shit. Mm. Wow, that's crazy, ain't it? You could take the ten. You could yeah. take the ten. All right, your money right now. You could take ten to him. Be like, man, I believe in this record. I just want to. What we got to do? They're gonna take my team. They're gonna blizzard, blizzard. They're gonna take my <laughs> money though. They're they, they gonna take the money and they're gonna no, blizzard, 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 blizzard. No, they gonna, it's gonna be big bro, problems. Okay, nigga, they they've been dodging niggas for years. Who are you to dodge? They you think they're they gonna dodge take niggas? your money and then not, not do gonna it. play it? Man, they know. Man, it's I need something in writing. It's twi man. You it's payola. It's ca you know you can't. It ain't no writing. This is it's understood. You know what I'm saying? This is old game. This is game that's been going on. Before hip hop existed, before shit, you know, 
A lot of shit existed. This is the game. You know what I mean? Wow. So, you know, there's nothing you can do about the game. The game no is... No respect. You can't... You know what I'm saying? You cannot reinvent the wheel. You know what I mean? You can only <laughs> put rims on it. You know what I mean? So, we're not talk, We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're just talking about artists that are willing to make the investment in their career, being able to take their careers in their own hands without having to deal with a middleman, a middleman, a middleman, just to be able to do some shit. Wow. That's what makes Spotify and United Masters and all these different things so unique because they give artists the opportunity to not need a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, if I wouldn't have had no manager or the manager I had or thought that I needed a manager, if I would have just used, tried to use my wits and just went on my, my decisions and what I thought, I would probably be a lot further along than I am. But because I thought... I gotta listen to this manager and da, 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 da. he was a fucking idiot. Mistakes. 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 Yeah. But you won't allow that's a part of that doing everything right. Because you won't allow yourself to run into a fire. Because you say that's fire. I'm not gonna run into a fire. But if the general consensus says, some book says, or some white man or some shit say that, okay, you have to go through the fire in order to get to the other side. Then, and it's a motherfucker that says he's a professional, get a motherfucker through fire. Motherfucker say, well, I'm just going to get prepared. Just go through this fire. But in your mind, sensibly, you know, going through fire makes no fucking sense at all. Right. Why would I go through this fire? But you didn't allow the system to tell you that you have to go through fire. But what... United Masters and Spotify has told you is that you don't have to go through the fire. You literally don't. It's fucking stupid. It's yeah. literally stupid. Yeah. Like, I like uh, um, and I love Distro Kid. I don't got nothing against okay. them. But it's free to put your shit out through United Masters. Why would you not? Why would you pay thirty dollars and it's free? You can literally pay thirty dollars for like internet ads. You know what I'm saying? Like Facebook ads, Google ads, shit like that. You put that $30 on that, it'll stretch a lot farther than paying $30 for distro kid. Use United Master. It's free. That's game. But I couldn't figure out, because I was trying to do it independently. Like in 2013, when I first graduated, I was like, fuck it, I don't want nobody to have to do that. I had to deal with so many bitch niggas just to get songs out. You know what I'm saying? Just to get my album out and did. Bitch niggas, just middleman bitch ass niggas, just in the way, just trying to find a way to get a piece of the cut of what you're trying to get to. You ain't even got to the money yet. Okay. It's just bitch niggas in the way, trying to get a little and pretending. Yeah. Because they really can't do nothing. They just happen to have a relationship with a motherfucker with some money or a motherfucker that know what they're doing or kind of know what they're doing or willing to put the music out. And now you don't have to do that. And that's why people have tried to make the radio obsolete, but you can't make the radio obsolete because that's what music in the radio is like peanut butter and jelly. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. You, you you can eat. I love personally love jelly sandwiches, but you know, the consensus is peanut butter and jelly. You can, sometimes you can try to go jelly. Sometimes you can just go peanut butter, but it works better together. So, you know, if you got great songs and artists willing to invest in themselves and you got a radio station that has a large artist and willing to, you know, help an artist get to the next level, it works perfectly. It's be Atlanta, Georgia. I tell you a story, a story that I heard from a city about Hot 107. Okay, everybody knows the big riff about Pastor Troy and Master P, and nobody knows why, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, Master P was trying to overcharge Hot 107 for the birthday bash. You know what I'm saying? They, he, he didn't want to pay. He was overcharging P. P didn't want to show, you know, a whole bunch of shit. So what the PD did was said, fuck it. I'm going to start pushing local artists. And one of the local artists he puts, Pastor That's Troy. True. And Pastor Troy did what? He saved birthday bash. After that, Hot 107 began to, uh, uh, they began to push local artists from that point. From that point on, you know, because at that point, it was just outcast, basically. Good mm -hmm. mob, outcast, you know. But after that, you get Chris Lover, Lover. You know what I'm saying? You get even, if, if you, you can remember uh, Archie, the live, yeah. live, yeah, live, yeah, yeah, live. Yeah. Like, you can remember all these Atlanta-ass songs that came out during this time, during the, uh, the No Limit Area, 2000, 2001. You know what I'm saying? All of these songs, because at Hot 107, he said, I'm going to get behind these local artists. Fuck it. You don't want to come perform my birthday bash? I make them, so I make, a, I make motherfuckers so big that I can have my own birthday bash. Now, Atlanta doesn't even need outside artists for their birthday that's bash. That's what I was going to say. That you, just, you just said what caused the effect that we see, really, pretty much in you, Atlanta. I mean, honestly, you think about the 90s, you think about, like, shit, what nobody... 
like Atlanta like that, other than, like you said, Outkast. Like it was that was it. Outkast. Everything else was TLC and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. know it wasn't no no rapping. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and Tricky had did the uh, the the one rec- the 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 Soleil record and then the JT Money record the uh, four five six and then the I I I I I yeah. You know what I'm saying? The who that and he was a quote unquote R and B producer at the time when he had did that. So. You look at that. You look at those situations. The PD built that up, so it shows you the power that radio has. The radio can make an artist superstar. Yeah. Like imagine if Tyler had whatever big car show, big birthday, whatever radio show, right? And they play, uh, what's his name? I was Seco P. Seco P. If they play his shit from January to. July. They've been playing this shit on the radio 40, 50 times a day from January to July. And then now he's the headliner at the uh, at the birthday or uh, at the you know at the radio show. The shit's way bigger. Yeah. Because everybody in the area been hearing this shit from January to July. Then he on Genius, then he got six million views. All his extra work that he busting his ass to put in makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But now he got six million views and all this shit. Niggas trying to figure out why the fuck what the fuck? Yeah. Why he ain't on the radio? That's what niggas gonna ask him. Why he ain't on the radio? <laughs> you really right. He working his ass out, busting his ass every day, getting putting everything he got into it, and he, to hear a nigga ask him why he ain't on the radio, and then he gotta go to these niggas and be like, "Why you won't play my shit, nigga?" Boy, I sure can't wait. He ain't hit me back. But he probably it's getting late. You should text his manager. I did. I, I oh, text both of them. Shit, watch. But I'm definitely gonna get that answer, man. I'm Thank you so much for that, boy. Hey, I, that's good stuff because I, I deal with these. Things. I apologize no, on man, the no, no, no. Uh-uh, I like she it. like that pisses me no, off. No, no, no. Because it's, it's, it's there because you done watched it and you really put a lot into it. I could see if you like, didn't know what you was talking about because you didn't know because you hadn't experienced it. But you talking about something you literally experienced. I, I like. I have a. A, a issue, a, a problem. I study geography in different places, and, and like I said, human behavior and how people act. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. and how people respond to mm-hmm. these behaviors. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying. The way that people are in East Texas, for some reason, it's a it's a still kind of a, a plantation mentality. Oh, I know. You know what I mean. Like even when I go down there, my education means nothing. It's about who I know and. What I can do Like what I know Means absolutely Fucking nothing I can be in a room And be the smartest Motherfucking person In the room And people will ask This white man A question first Of course mm-hmm. Whatever You know what I mean Fuck it But I, it could, get, I, could, I could write a book About that When it gets to the point To where You see other black people That get in a position Of power To start acting like that And pose to You know Trying to bring Other people up They've been Not bringing niggas up For years Like I I I can at least attest for 10 years they have not broken one East Texas artist in 10 years. Just just, just me. You know what I'm saying? From 2009 to now or whatever. Never broke artist. Never. Wow. Never. Never. <laughs> Never. 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 Never man. broke one East DJ Texas Juice, artist. I'm, I, I gotta call you, man. Bro, he been there ten years. I know. Never broke one East Texas art. Ten years, never. You ain't heard nothing from nobody in ten years. You like East Texas, man. Never. It's real. Never. I heard. I heard Crook for Life when I was fucking what? I think eight or nine. Like I came out here, uh, go to Six Flags, listen to the. They were playing Crook for Life. Like a fuck. Shout out to Pookie and Lucci. They were just here. Diabolical. When Diabolical, I remember yeah. when Diabolical came out. They were playing Diabolical like a. Never. This was Skip Cheatham. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. This Shout out to Skip, Skip Cheatham. I'm hearing it in 97 Cheatham. 9 now. This is Skip Cheatham. Wow. He was playing, he playing Crook for Life and Diabolical like. Not cook. Come on now, East Texas. We gotta do better. Radio stations, y'all ask, stand up. If you can get Skip Cheatham on this show, ask him how many local artists from Dallas he broke. He couldn't even tell you. He couldn't even give you a. He'd be here all fucking. Be, bro, I'm, he, what about what about like, the, why you asking me questions? What, like what, I ain't got that much time. So you saying the one now? Now Shreveport. He'll start, talk, start talking to you about the uh, fucking uh, Shreveport. Did they play your music? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Yeah, Jabba, Jab, Jab. Jabba called me, you know what I'm saying? Like, on, on some, when he found out I was from Atlanta, he called me, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what Jabba do, because Jabba OG, Jabba had an OG talk with me, you know what I'm saying? On some whole nother other shit, but 
Jabba played it like 40, 50 times. Then, then made me come before. Him, come <laughs> yeah, 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 that's love. So, but that's what Jabba, like even what they, you look what, even what they did for Chris. Yeah. Hey, baby, babe, yeah. that was 97, that was 99.7. Yeah. They, play, they played that shit, hey, baby, babe, until the world got it. Yeah, yeah. I get it, man. I get it. They even did it in Shreveport. The radio got behind the artist and see what happened. You just saying these boys in the local area. They did area, it in they Shreveport. Gotta, they gotta How far stop. Shreveport from us? Hour, 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Hour. And in Shreveport, Hurricane Chris, they broke him all off A Bay Bay. Wow. A Bay Bay. I remember. A Bay Bay, a song about a DJ. <laughs> Real talk, man. Y'all see Bone, man. Y'all y'all hear Bone. Y'all y'all got the legend up in here. I'm, I'm calling that nigga legend now. All I'm saying is is in the ten years that I've been a professional rapper, not since I was seven, since I've been a professional, since I got signed to Def Jam two thousand uh, in two thousand nine. Since two thousand nine, when I got signed, I've never seen one hundred six nine break an artist from East Texas. Y'all, listen, man. The brother speaking from the heart. He from East Texas. I call him a legend because he's the only one that I know that sold the amount of records that he sold during the time that he was there, uh, during during the time that his his run was. And uh, hey, man, uh, radio stations. Hey, man, the man got something to say. I'm I'm gonna be calling y'all. You know I'm gonna call you, bro. You can call. You can go get. Like I said, you can get Luscious Ice. You can get Juice. You can get Cut D. You can get out whoever else. Uh, what was chocolate? Uh, uh, you can go get all of them. You can have them up here all at one time, and it'll be the quietest fucking conversation you ever had in your life. You can get them drunk, and they won't say shit. They'll be sitting there looking at each other drunk. Wow. Won't say nothing about why they don't, but why they, like, why they have not broken East Texas. East Texas you going to tell me ain't no songs good enough. You ain't found one person with a song good enough to break in 10 years. Wow. Man. Like, I'm just saying, do, do you believe that? Is that no, believable? No, 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 no. Like, no, I, know, talk, I know better. I didn't listen to the music. But a motherfucker will tell you that you need to run through fire. Because no, that's what you, you got to do Tampa first. Is, Tampa is a commercialized song. It has, six million, it has six million views, I believe. Yeah, no, no. More if than that now. If, if I worked for 106.9, I would have already played it. Yeah. If, if I worked there. But yeah. if you asked all of the DJ 106.9, they'd tell you. <laughs> They start talking about some shit that ain't got nothing to do with good music and people liking it. Wow, that's crazy. But I know, I know, and I do business. I do good business. I know business. So if we talking business, then what's the price? Let me look at this song. I want to see how many views it's up to now. You know, got me curious. That's all I'm saying. We talking if we talking business, what's the price? Because if that's what it is, then that's what it is. But you know, like I said, yeah, and I ain't got nothing personal. Seven point two. 7.2 7 million. 7 million view. He can't get one spin on the radio. We listen to 106.9 right now till we go to sleep. We won't hear that bitch. <laughs> man, I'm finna shut it down, man. Thank you so much for coming on the I show, man. I appreciate y'all, man. No, nah, man, you, hey, man, if you got, if once you get everything situated to bring them new music. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you, I got you. You gotta I, come back finished. I'm just you, getting I, everything else finished. Yeah, so. I'm gonna interview you and we're gonna talk about the music, man, because I sure don't want you to, I want you on my side. <laughs> you know, I definitely want the positivity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying, like, I, I, you know. But I, I appreciate, yeah. I understand because it's passion. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's definitely, but I know the struggle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I literally know, know the, struggle. the struggle. You know what I mean? Like, I stood in the club from nine till two and then had to go to the after hours and stay in the after hours from three to five just to play one song for three minutes. Like, I've done it. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, like that's work. You know what I'm saying? I real life done it. So, you know, I understand the struggle that they go through going you know what I'm saying? Sitting under these niggas that they, you know, at the club mm -hmm. and, you know, buying them drinks and all of that shit, sucking their dick and shit just to get nothing. You know wow. what I mean? You know, like, it ain't worth it. And that's why a nigga want, uh, he rather pay, a nigga rather pay, do the internet shit. Cause shit, yeah. fuck all that. It's hard to deal with yeah, these niggas. Nigga. <laughs> Say, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, man. And we out.